for a young girl picking up a rugby ball for the first time next season. She will now have a clear and accessible pathway to represent her country through the Wallaroos and Australian Women's Sevens team, outgoing RA CEO Bill Pulver said. Super W will allow our women's 15s players the opportunity to play in a high-quality competition, fully entrenched within the professional programs at each state giving them access to elite coaching and high-performance facilities. Bidding for the Women's Rugby World Cup I hope signifies to the community how serious we are about making rugby a game for all and growing female participation. If we are successful with our bid, it will have an immediate and significant impact on women's rugby. The Australian rugby community has been incredibly proud of the growth of the women's game in recent times and I know that this crucial competition is going to supercharge this growth in future years. RA announced on Tuesday that Pulver would be replaced by Raylene Castle in January, becoming the organization's first female CEO. I am really proud and excited about this competition launching next year and what this means for the game in Australia, said Wallaroos captain and seven star Shannon Perry. Since I started playing rugby in Brisbane the game has come along in leaps and bounds and this competition means that there is opportunity now for all 15s players and 7s players at the elite level. It's going to be great to see women's state teams slug it out against each other and will open a lot of girls' eyes up to the opportunities for them in rugby. I have played in three Women's Rugby World Cups and I know that we would be amazing hosts for the tournament. Australians love putting on a sporting show when we host major tournaments and events and it would be huge to bring the pinnacle of women's 15s rugby to our shores. Australia hosted the men's edition of the Rugby World Cup in 1987, with New Zealand, and 2003 with great success, but has never hosted a Women's Rugby World Cup. RHM and Cameron Klein said, as we edge closer to the 15th anniversary of the last Rugby World Cup played in Australia, Regarded by many as the greatest in the tournament's history, we are excited to confirm that Rugby Australia will bid for the hosting rights for the Women's Rugby World Cup in 2021 and the 2027 Men's Rugby World Cup. The Rugby World Cup is the pinnacle for our Wallabies and Wallaroos teams and we want to bring those tournaments home for any player, boy or girl, man or woman. Whoever dreamed of lifting the cup here on our home soil? The Women's World Cup is growing from strength to strength off the back of an incredible tournament in Ireland this year and given Australia's track record in hosting major events, we are supremely confident of delivering a tournament like no other in 2021. With the NSW government's commitment to build a network of three world-class rectangular venues in Sydney, adding to the mix of quality stadiums available across the country, our prospects of bringing the World Cups to Australia have never been better. Without this leadership and vision from government, Australian sports fans simply wouldn't have access to the world's biggest sporting events.